think two one. Okay. That was str oh hello and welcome. If it's your first time watching Ankmil and I do loads of videos about diabetes technology, and today I will be unboxing my Dexcom G6 and inserting my first ever Dexcom sensor. I've never used Dexcom before, if you in case you don't know. And so a little disclaimer before we start, I am not a healthcare professional. And if you do decide to get Dexcom or any medical product mentioned in this video, please speak to your health provider. Now, I should probably say this for every single video that I do, but, but I don't. Um, by the way, if you can tell, this video is actually not scripted. I usually write scripts for my videos to make sure all the facts are accurate and all the numbers are up to date and stuff. But I'm just doing an unboxing, so I want to give you like my real first thoughts. So this is it. Now, uh, in the UK, now I also have no relationship with Dexcom. Um, I paid for this myself. In the UK, the starter pack is £160, £159. And that includes a box like this. Now, it doesn't say G6. You have to, like, do that yourself. And in the UK, uh, the starter pack includes three sensors, which one sensor lasts for 10 days. So just like 30 days worth of sensors, but I am planning to extend my Dexcom G6 sensors and I'm hoping to get at least 15 or 20 days out of each sensor. And you also get the transmitter and that one transmitter lasts for uh, three months, um, unless you change the battery in it, which is something that I'm definitely going to look at. Um, I ain't got money, I'm a student. And you get loads of paperwork about like what you have to do and instructions and stuff like that. Something quite simple. And I am going to use my phone um, just because I like having it in my phone. I don't have the receiver and the receiver was like additional £200 so I, I don't want to do that. What I'm also going to do is for the first week, for the seven days, I'm going to be using my Libre with my Mayo Mayo transmitter. Um, and I'm going to be comparing the G6 with the Libre and with the Libre data from the uh, from the M transmitter. So um, to see which one is more accurate and to see which one I prefer, I'll make a video about it as well. Um, and after that um, initial week, I'll probably make a decision if I want to stay on G6 full time or if I'm just going to continue with this current setup. Okay, so let's get the first sensor. Now, with the with the Dexcom G6 application, it is actually well, it's easier than the G um, than the G5 because actually it's like one click. This is what it looks like. This is the inserter, and um, it's in plastic. Now, when I first saw, because obviously I opened this box before, when I first saw, it, I was like, oh my god, the amount of plastic in this is ridiculous. So I am working on a video on like how to like get rid of the metal inside and just have the plastic so you can at least recycle the plastic um but so hopefully that video will be out soon okay so what i'm doing now is i'm actually prepping the apps that i didn't do that before now um i have been in touch there we go uh, i have been in touch with like people and um my i will be able to get my uh my myo transmitter data data into my spike app and my dexcom g6 transmitter data into the dexcom g6 app because they are two separate bluetooth streams so they like one one won't interfere the other so like it will all be fine so now with the dexcom g6 um uh app you you are required to enter this code and this they have to do uh and with every single application code is at the bottom of of the of the sensor i'm not going to show you the code because i think you can i don't know enter code and you can either enter it manually or you can like make a picture of it so i'm going to take a photo because that looks cool i hope you can see like what's happening see so you do that there you go did you see that i hope you saw that um and then transmitter okay anyway let me just do what the app says and with the transmitter you do the same thing so you take a photo and then it scans it like that that's cool so you don't have to enter the code you just scan it oh there we go insert the sensor so it tells you when to do it so next you must insert your sensor and attach your transmitter before continuing the step okay right so what i am going to do is um you peel the you peel peel that okay and then 
I know that Dexcom is technically not approved for your arm, but I am not changing the place of my CGM. I've been using my arm for like two or three years, so I am I'm not experimenting my stomach. So I'm just, now this is apparently quite easy. So you just do that, stick it like that, and then you twist it. You twist that. That's actually quite hot. Oh, there we go. No, you just do that, and then. You just press it now. I'm actually quite scared to do it. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Okay. That was, str okay. So here is, now you can definitely feel it. Like the, when someone says you can't feel it, you can feel it. It's a bit like a very, very, like super, super quick insertion. And then you can definitely feel it leaving you like the actual needle. You can definitely feel it though. So there we go. That's it. That's my Dexcom. I hope this all works. Now, I've never actually done an insertion on camera before. I have done, before I started YouTube, to see if, like, I'd like the YouTube thing. And that insert, that sensor, Libre sensor failed on me. So here we go. It wasn't that bad. You could feel it, but it's very similar to the um, Libre, I would say. So that's what you do. And then you get the transmitter. You open that. And then, by the way, the transmitter is so, so tiny. Like, it is so, so tiny. But the box is huge. Dexcom, if you're watching this, you probably won't. But if someone from Dexcom is watching this, I love how tiny your transmitter is. But the box can be half of it. You have the cardboard and you have the plastic. Like, it's it's really not, not on. So you do that. And then... No, I can't actually see where the... Okay. So you clip it in. There we go. That's it. That's it. Did you see that? I hope you saw that because the lighting's here. So, the, oh my God, I'm on Dexcom. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's crack on. Have you inserted the sensor? Yes, I have. Oh, and now the two hour. Now the with the Dexcom G6, you do actually have to. Now it's searching for my transmitter. It's happening. It's happening, you guys. Now uh, with the Dexcom G6, you do have to wait. Two hours the sensor like activation is two hours keep your trans keep your smart device within six meters of transmitter pairing may take up to 30 minutes goodness me wait pairing may take up to 30 minutes so do they expect me to wait 30 minutes till it pairs this is really bad that's my live with glucose level 7.7 .7. Okay, so about five minutes after recording that, um, it said start a new sensor and I pressed start a new sensor and now it's uh, warm up time and it just says sensor warm up, one hour and 57 minutes remaining and I have to wait two hours to get my first reading. So I'm gonna screenshot that. And yeah, so that's it. And uh, so that's my first G6 application and the entire process. Hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe um uh, to catch rest of my Dexcom G6 content um and to include my comparison with the Libre and with the M transmitter and yeah hope you enjoyed it I am so excited to be on G6 so thanks so much for watching see you in the next one bye bye